was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past so I Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be doing a double unboxing. I have a small little item and then I also have a handbag to share. Now, I do have to caveat this by saying these items were purchased a few weeks ago and I've just kind of been holding on to them. With the recent events, I'll be honest, I've been on the fence as to whether or not to put up a luxury unboxing. However, I ended up doing two polls on my Instagram saying, do you guys want to see this unboxing? Do you want me to wait? And the overwhelming majority of you said you do want to see it. So, and I was going back and forth with myself and then I thought, okay, well, my channel is about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And for me, I like to kind of immerse myself into YouTube videos, fashion and beauty. That's what I love. So it kind of takes my mind away from the current situation. As you know, it's in the news. Everyone's in quarantine. So this is just a way to kind of get your mind off of it. And this is kind of what my channel is about. I love beauty, fashion, luxury, lifestyle videos, that type of thing. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and do this video. As I stated, these were two items that were purchased a few weeks ago. I haven't unboxed them. I haven't really had any place to go, but I'm super excited about them and I wanted to share them with you. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to see what I purchased in this luxury unboxing, then keep watching. Okay guys, so first off, I'm super excited. This is the first video that I'm filming in my new little beauty space. If you guys haven't seen that transformation, I will link it down below. This is actually part of my daughter's playroom. So her playroom is over there. This is just a little quarter of corner of it I was trying to kind of be crafty I just painted this part of it just so I could have a little extra space to do videos and do try on hauls for you guys so if you haven't seen that I will link that down below and everything shown in this video is linked in that video as well and I also have it on the like to know it up just in case you're wondering so that is not why you guys are here today you guys want to see an unboxing so I think what I'm gonna do should I do the small leather good first or should I do the handbag let's go ahead and let me do the small leather good first okay guys so here is the item I have not unboxed it it of course comes with the receipt and you know I know I sound like a broken record but I would always recommend hanging on to your receipts it's just a way to prove the authenticity of the item in the event that you do end up selling it in the future so it comes in this nice little folder here so I hang on to that here is the item now before I unbox it let me kind of tell you a little bit of a backstory I was not intending I was not planning on buying anything from Louis Vuitton but a couple weeks ago I was looking on the website and I saw the most beautiful print. Now this is part of the new summer 2020 collection. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so me. So anyone who knows me know that I love bright colors. I love tie dye. I love pastels. So this little bad boy right here was like me in a small leather good. So you guys may or may not know what I'm talking about. So let me just stop jibber jabbering and let's get into it. The item that I purchased. Here we go, is this beauty right here. This is the Louis Vuitton Escale Victorine Wallet. So I do have the Louis Vuitton Victorine Wallet with the Rose Ballerine interior and I love it. And like I stated, I was not planning on getting this, but when I saw it online and they had it available, I was like, oh, this is an add to cart kind of day. I usually wouldn't have just done that, but I could not believe that this was available. Like this was one of those items that you had to get on waiting list. So if this is something that you're on the hunt for and you see that it's sold out, out. just keep checking because I found that that's kind of what happened with me with one of my um, when I got my pochette Matisse and the Emprunt leather um, I just happened to go on there one day and it said add to cart so you just never know when they're gonna become available but if isn't this the most beautiful wallet so it's like a tie-dye pastel color so again it is the new summer um, 2020 collection and I will put, put up on the screen right here they have a handbag they have a lot of other little small leather goods that are beautiful the majority of the items were sold out but they did have this like I said this is the Victorine wallet and I already know this is a tried-and-true wallet that I, I love but it is so 
so pretty so you can see it has the pretty pastel pink the turquoise oh my gosh you guys this is just me right here now I don't know how I would feel about this particular pattern in a purse because I don't really feel like it would match with a lot of things but but as far as a small leather good I am so excited about this is going to be perfect for spring and summer so it comes with the silver hardware the majority of the small leather goods come with this the silver hardware so I loved that let's go ahead and open it up so you can see what the interior looks like okay so it is this beautiful pink and it's gonna come with a zip part so you open it up once again and you're gonna have a place for your change you're gonna get six credit card slots you have a bill slot right here and then once again you have a slot for coin I have this wallet absolutely love it but I was so so excited about it and like I said it does come in other styles in the event you don't necessarily want the Victorine wallet they have the Zoe wallet they have the mini pochette but I know that this is really hard to come by so I will try to link other options down below but like I said always check the website because you never know when they're gonna restock and Louis Vuitton is funny like that where it'll be sold out one day but then the next day you go on but this is just so beautiful and i couldn't resist i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to insert some up close shot shots so you can really get a good idea of what this wallet looks like i don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah there was a part of me that knew that And still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down Okay guys, so that was a small leather good that I got and I'm super, super excited about that. I can't wait to wear it for spring and summer. And then the next item I picked up is a handbag. And if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I tend to gravitate towards black bags. And I said, Amber, this time around you need to find a good beige bag. But I wanted a specific beige. I didn't want something that was too yellow. I, I wanted something that was gonna kind of be a good neutral that was gonna match with everything, but I had such a hard time. I actually had ordered another bag but then I ended up returning it because it just was not the right shade for me. So, I, of course it is a Saint Laurent bag. I love Saint Laurent. I think Saint Laurent might be one of my favorite fashion houses. So the bag that I went with is this one right here and you can see it still has the packaging and everything on it it is the most beautiful beige color so you guys might know i have the medium size so let me go ahead and grab that really quick okay so i have the medium size so you can see the medium size compared to the small and I, again, really was on the hunt for a really, really good beige bag. And I feel like this is the perfect neutral shade that is going to match with everything. So this one comes with the silver hardware, but you can get the option of having the gold. But I just think it looks so pretty with the silver. And you can see from this view and then you can see it from the back it has this beautiful chain it's a really really sturdy chain and there's so much detail like you I don't know if you can see it here but Saint Laurent is in the grommets here it is just such a beautiful bag and this is gonna come with the model lace leather so it's a really plush squishy leather and because I love the medium size so much I did I had done a little research and a lot of people said that they really like the small size because I found that with the medium it's a little too large to wear as a crossbody so I typically wear it over the shoulder but this one I think is going to be a perfect bag where you can wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag so let me show you let me kind of just tell you the dimensions okay so it's nine this one right here is nine inches in width it's seven inches in height and the depth right here is going to be about three and a half inches it's so beautiful okay and the strap drop if you wear it on the shoulder is going to be 12 inches and if you wear it on the crossbody it is going to be 22 inches okay so it has this magnetic closure and then you open it and it's going to have two pockets and then you're also going to get a zip slot right here and then there is a back pocket and this is where the authenticity card is 
it's just a beautiful bag and like I said I had the medium I almost got another medium but I wanted to be a little different but I love this beige color I just think it's gonna be the perfect color for spring and summer it's gonna go with so many items and let's face it you guys I did not need another black bag I didn't but I've been wanting a beige bag for a long time. You guys know this, so I was super excited to try this. So let me go ahead and do some really quick mod shots for you guys so you can kind of see how it would look on my frame. Okay guys, so I am about five foot three. Here is the bag. You can see it hits me really nicely right on the hip here. I wear it crossbody. Again, the crossbody length is about 22 inches. So I love where it hits me right there. Just to show you guys an example, here's the medium. I know it looks funny, but I'm going to put them both on. Kind of see how the medium is just a little too large when you compare it to the small. The small just looks a lot better as a crossbody. So again, you can wear it as a crossbody like this. If you don't want to wear it as a crossbody, you can wear it as a long shoulder bag like this. Or pull the straps like this and you're going to get the 12 inch drop and you can wear it on your shoulder like this which I also feel it feels a lot more comfortable sometimes so with the medium bag when you wear it on the shoulder because it is so thick it can feel a little bulky so I feel like this one falls at a good angle so just want to kind of give you an example of what they both look like and if you guys ever wanted me to do a comparison between the small and the medium, I'd be more than happy to do that because I know like if you're anything like me, I was on the fence um, about what size to get. I ended up going with the small since I already had the medium, but I plan on wearing these both for a while and then I can do an in-depth review and tell you guys which one I would prefer. So I'm so excited. Again, this is the small Lulu. Um, this is in the Poudre color and this is the Escale wallet from Louis Vuitton. Oh, I'm super, super excited, you guys. I really, really wanted to share the unboxing with you because if you're anything like me, it just really takes my mind away of everything that's going on right now so I hope all of you guys are staying very very safe I will be sure to link these items down below and I'll also link this video down below too in the event you want to check out the transformation I'm really excited about it and I did it on a really really affordable budget so make sure to hit that subscribe button if new to my channel and follow me on Instagram I love to have you join me over there thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch I love you so much stay safe and I will see you in my next video I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure by myself when I met ya